But oh my gosh, she pricked my middle finger. Uh, and then I was talking to my roommate. She told me, do you have like another class today or tomorrow? I was like, yeah, I think I have one more, like around 125, 135. Cause like on this, on my calendar, I had like this. I put like um for where I have my schedule part that I have two classes on Thursday. And and then for some reason I looked at and I looked into my like my school calendar and it said that I didn't have any class on Thursday. And I have no idea. I have zero freaking clue as to why I couldn't remember if I went to two classes last Thursday or if it's just one class Thursday and Friday. And I literally looked through my messages and I was like looking if I told anyone I was going to internship on Thursday because the class is called internship, some like internship preparation, something like that, I don't care. And so I was looking to see if, some, if I had texted someone internship or if I had texted someone on, on Thursday at like Crim J or something like that. I don't have any like friends in that class. So it's not like I could like text them and be like, hey, do we have class? Like I don't have friends in that class. The only class I have friends in is my six to nine on Monday and I don't even talk to her until like after the class is over and then all my morning classes Monday to Friday my first class that side class I have it and um other than that I mean like I can talk in like classes and stuff and but I, I don't have like an actual friend that I'm like sitting next to having the best of time of my life just chatting you know it's just not like that so I was just like okay well whatever um what was I talking about oh yeah, so I have no idea. So I was like, might as well just like pack everything ready. So I put my my computer, my folder, my journal, my book bag, or my book bag, and I went to class. I went to where the class is to see if like anyone was in there. I checked and there was nobody there. I was like, oh, okay, so I don't have class today. I don't know what happened to me. Well, I saw like signs for a blood donation drive today, and I was like, oh, I mean, might as well. I'm already here. It was like one. 40 by that point um, i went around like the campus to where they were doing the blood drive and it's my first time doing the blood drive so i didn't even make an appointment so i was walking there i was like mm, what if i need an appointment what if they turn me back do i need to know my blood type because i have no idea what my blood type is all i know it's not it's not oh it's a or b or something like that and i was like what else would they need for me like I, I didn't know anything so i walked into that building and i have no idea where that gym is like i i've been to that place only like last semester for two courses and it was just like right there like you walk into the building it's right there but i had no idea where the gym was so i tried to follow the sign but they weren't very easy to understand at least the first one it was just like an arrow pointing that way so like if this is a wall oh like if this oh, okay so if this was the wall like this like the wall there's a wall here and the wall there this way there was a the arrows it was right here it was pointing that way so I, I walked that way and i was like that's the auditorium that's not the gym so i walked back here and i decided to walk this way and then there wasn't like another like sticker right here that said that that's where i'm supposed to go and i was like okay well that didn't make sense from that first one so then i went there and she was like do you have an appointment i was like no sorry and then she was like it's fine like blah, 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 and did the whole process they made me read this thing and then i was like cool and then I was just waiting until they called like my name and then they called my name and then I went up she looked she was looking at my veins I thought she was trying to see if my vein was easy to go into so I was like yeah I mean it's not really hard to go to see my veins she's like that's not what I'm looking for and I was like oh she was like I'm looking right here to see if you have any rash or anything and I was like, oh, well, this this thing right here is is from, like, my book bag. I just got hurt. It's not like a rash. She was like, no, I'm not looking there. And I was like, I'm sorry. I'm a little slow right now. This is my first time doing this. Like, I'm so sorry. I'm not understanding what you're telling me right now. Like, this is another world for me. It hurt my feelings a little bit, but I try to stay positive, you know? Try to stay positive. I'm sorry. I was slow, okay? <sighs> Anyways, she took my temperature, my oral temperature, uh, she she did the the blood pressure thing and then but oh my gosh she pricked my middle finger she put this like like board it was literally like a board it was clear though like it was see-through it was a board and then like i don't know what is she doing like, anyway then she got this like these thingies and she was like just doing her stuff like i was like she was like put your hand out i was like and then she she like 
rub this like alcohol on my middle finger and then she grabbed this little it was like a little it was like a little tube and she just like and then i was like i was just staring at everything she was doing she grabbed this little blade clear blade looking thingy where she like put the blood inside of it and then uh, and she gave me like a little cloth thingy and like told me to put pressure on my middle finger and I was like okay and then she like took that thingy and stuck it in something and uh, and I was just waiting like I was like the heck was that for <laughs> like, I don't know what that she just pricked my finger and gave me a freaking cloth <laughs> and it hurt okay I don't know it hurt so bad like it, it just like hurt like the initial thing didn't hurt but like afterwards my finger was like what just happened to me what just happened to me i was in so much pain i was in so much pain but anyways um and she was like okay so it's supposed to be 12.5 you're at a 12 right now um so we can either do a different finger do your other hand like what do you want and i was like I'm, i we can do the other hand but why is it 12 you know, like, she's like you're fine like everything is good it's just we want it to be at a 12.5 and i was like oh okay and what is it for <laughs> it's my blood count my my blood cell count the, the, I don't know, my, my red cell count red blood cell count so that's what it is and so i gave her my other finger and she pricked it and it hurt so bad but i wish she had pricked this finger no, this one, the same way she had pricked this one. Because this one, the prick is on the side. And for this one, it's in the middle. And you know what I need my middle finger for? To hold my pencil. Because I need to put pressure on my middle finger. So I was trying to take notes today, like right here. And I was pressing it, and it kept hurting. So I, I couldn't, I can't press my middle finger. It, it, it's been like hours since I did that. And I, my middle finger still, still hurts. This middle finger has suffered the most. But only hurts when I put like pressure on it, like and then like my finger just like ouch. <laughs> um, then she took it on this one and it was a twelve point five. She said you're good. Just do this questionnaire. Do the questionnaire, and then I just sat and waited until they called me. And then um, the lady was like, okay, so where's your what's your donation arm? And I was like, what? And she was like, yeah, like what arm did you donate last time? I was like, oh no no, this is my first time. She was like, well I guess I'll tell you which is your donation arm. And so basically, it's just literally when you take like your blood drawing, it's in the arm that you don't usually use. So, I mean, oh. <laughs> my funny bone. I sat down in the thing, I laid down, and then she started prepping the bag, the, the bag and stuff. And it was pretty interesting. I couldn't really see because I was laying down, so I couldn't really. And I didn't feel comfortable just like staring at her. She might have felt weird about it. But... So I just like looked at her, like what she was doing after a few times. And then uh, she's like, hey, everything's ready. I'm just going to rub this like blah, 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 alcohol on you. Is that okay? Are you fine with that being on your skin? And I was like, yeah, it's fine. Okay. So she was rubbing. You know, pe you know, I'm so used to like, you know, when they do like, they just wipe the alcohol and then they insect. Inject, inject you with like that needle thing i'm so used to it just being shoom shoom and then but she was rubbing there that that thing for like a good like 25 seconds all this entire space area and i was just like hmm, okay now after how long she was doing it she said she's been doing it for 13 years i was gonna ask her more but like i didn't want to feel be rude or anything and i didn't really know what to talk about so i was like so anyways uh how she pushed this like pressure thingy here and then uh told me that i had to like flex my my arm or something like that and then she was like okay i'm gonna put a needle in you now and then she put it in me and she was like okay these then she named like the three other nurses that were there they're gonna they're here to help you i'm gonna take a break now and i was like yeah it's fine okay thank you she's like thank you for coming and then i was like she also told me that every five to ten seconds i have to like like squeeze my arm my hand and just let it relax so i was just like okay and i had to do that the entire time she said it usually takes like four to four to six or ten minutes depending on how much i've eaten today how hydrated i am and whether how ner and how nervous i am oh and how big my veins are so Anyways, um, how did I catch it? <laughs> um, so then I was just doing that, and I was just like looking up at the ceiling because I was laying down, and like I was laying down, so I couldn't like hold my phone like this because it's kind of big, and I'm not used to holding it like that with one hand. 
So I just was like, I was like, literally texting like this. So I was uh, texting some of my friends and I wanted to record it, but I didn't want to be like that weird person who records. But anyways, so I, I like recorded like a fast snip. And then I was just there. I don't even know how long I was there for. I think I'm going to say I was there for like a little less than eight minutes, uh, but I'm not 100% sure. I was like just... Most of it, I was saying, I wanted to think, but like at the same time, I was so attentive on how much I was like uncounting. So I was like, and it hurts sometimes, like the like the little place. And if I concentrated good enough, I could feel the blood going into the the needle, and it was pretty satisfying, honestly. It was pretty weird, but it still hurt. And then her, she was like, all right, the fun, the party, this other nurse, she was like, oh, the same nurse that did the question on me. All right, the party's over now. You're good now. And I was like, cool. <laughs> and then she took off the thing. And she was like, how do you feel? I was like, I feel good. Like, they, they checked on me like a few, every few minutes um, while I was getting my blood taken out. And she was like, okay. Basically, I couldn't, couldn't do... No heavy lifting to make sure that I have fluids and uh, food. Uh, yeah, that's it. And then I went to like the little table they had and I was like eating Oreos and water right after. And then I went to my car. Like it felt like I was not in my body. Like it felt, but I was in my body. Like I felt weird. Like it felt, I felt, I definitely felt different after that. Like it just felt like so different. Um, like I knew something was off. Not off, but like something was different, you know? So it was pretty interesting. I'll definitely do it again, but they said you, so like I was reading the sign and things and you ha you can't donate like every week or whatever, you know? You have to wait 58 or 56 days, 52. Okay, it's either 52, 56 or 58, but it's more than 50 days to be able to donate again. So they told me that the next time I'd be able to donate blood is December 2nd. And I was like, oh, that's cool to know. And then I went back to my apartment and just lay down. Then I had food and then I lay down again on TikTok. I watched some Netflix, procrastinating on this S exam that um, I have on Monday. Yeah, these are like the stuff I need to learn. Like I, sh I should know. This is the review or the study guide. But it's not just definitions. It's define and describe. Provide examples compare and contrast what's the difference between a staphylococcus streptococcus and an exterioria coli like uh, anyways it's 12 a.m now i'm gonna actually study um thanks for hearing my rants this was nice thank you bye <laughs> I couldn't lift, have, couldn't do.